Hello friends, in this video I will teach you how to solve the constraint motion in pulley system or in simple word how to solve the problem when the pulleys are moving. Okay, let us take an example like this there is a pulley system say this is the pulley and this is a fixed pulley and there is a block hanging over here and there is one pulley here so this is fixed over here okay so in that case there is another box which is hanging over here okay so what will happen when you pull this block in the downward direction so this pulley will move in upward direction so this is the example of constrained motion okay in this kind of problem the when you try to solve using the FBD you will not get the relation between acceleration of this block A and the block B because both are moving with the different speeds okay and if the speed is different that means acceleration is different okay so in that case what we will use is we will use one small fundamental which says summation of t dot a is equal to zero where t is the tension in the string and a is the acceleration okay so first of all i will show you how to solve this problem using this fundamental and then i will give you an idea from where this t dot a is equal to zero came fine so to solve these kind of problem what we will do let's say the acceleration is in downward direction a1 and the acceleration of this block is is in upward direction which is a2 okay now the tension in the string is t p and t so from here it is 2t okay so what we will have to do is for each block we will define the relation of t dot a and this is t dot a is from the vector so that means this is t a cos of theta and the theta is the angle between tension and the acceleration okay so for the first case if i see this first block so for, for block a uh, the tension is in upward direction acceleration is in downward direction so the theta between these two entities are 180 degree okay so i can say t a1 cos of 180 degree now for the block b so in that case tension is in upward direction and acceleration is also in upward direction so the direct the angle between these two is zero degree okay so in that case it is going to be 2 t a 2 cos of zero degree so now putting these two value here so summation of that means t a 1 minus sign because 180 is minus 1 plus 2 t a 2 will become zero so t will cancel out so we will get the relation between a1 a2 as minus of a1 is equal to minus of 2 a2 that means a1 is equal to twice of a2 so what we will get is the relation between a1 and a2 so that means the speed of a, a is higher than the speed of b so now we got the relation between a1 and a2 after that we can solve this using uh, the fbd and we'll use the a1 and a2 relation and we can simply solve the problem okay now let us take an, another problem where say there are multiple pulleys like say this is pulley 1 and then this is a fixed pulley then there is another pulley there is a fixed pulley so this is going like this and there is a block of here and say there are a single block acting now like this okay say this is block b and this is block a so in this problem when you move this block in the downward direction so this pulley will also move and this pulley will also move okay so this is a simply case of uh, constraint motion so let us say uh, how we can use this summation of t dot a is equal to zero in this problem 
fine so first of all we will define the tensions this is t this is t this is t this is t and this is t okay so here this is 2t and here this is 2t okay so first of all we will see say the this block is moving with acceleration a1 and this block is moving in upward direction with a2 okay so you can define in you can define any direction you can say upward a1 and downward a1 or you can say both are moving in the downward direction or both are moving in the upward direction so automatically the sign will be adjusted using t dot a okay so now the first case where t and a1 are in opposite direction so that means the angle between these two is 180 degree okay so we will get t a1 cos of 180 degree plus this time the total tension is 2t plus 2t that means 4t and the acceleration is upward direction so what it what is the angle between these two it is 0 degree fine so we'll get 2t a2 cos of 0 degree is equal to 0 right so we'll get minus of t a1 plus 2 sorry this is going to be 4t 4t a2 is equal to 0 t common and cancel out so we'll get a1 is equal to 4 times a2 so this is how we will get the relation between a1 and a2 so we have defined this t dot a is equal to 0 so let's say what is the theory behind this okay so let me take a simple example say this is the pulley and this is one string and this is one block okay so let's say this length is say l and this is x1 and this is x2 so since this string is going to be constant in every situation if either it is going to move downward direction or it move in upward direction so i can simply say x1 plus x2 is equal to l okay when this system will move in upward or downward direction so that means there will be a change in x1 with respect to time if i differentiate it both side you will get dx1 upon dt plus dx2 upon dt is equal to 0 okay we'll get v1 plus v2 is equal to 0 if i differentiate it again i will get dv1 plus dv2 upon dt upon dt is equal to 0 so that means acceleration 1 plus acceleration 2 is equal to 0 now if i multiply this with the tension so this will become t a1 plus t a2 is equal to 0 from this i'll drive one formula like summation of t dot a is 0 and also from this i'll also use summation of t dot v is equal to 0 so in any case if you have to find the relation between v1 and v2 of multiple blocks you can use this equation or if you want to define the relation between acceleration of the blocks you can use this equation okay so in my further videos you will get to know how we will solve many problems from hc verma using this concept